Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm here to see Tracy. Tracy, okay, hold on one second. Thank you. So I'm gonna meet with Tracy from the old school dance team, and I'm a little bit nervous because I have to audition. Hello. Hello. How are you? You must be Hi. Tracy. I am. How are you, Mr. Chen? I give Jenner? you a dancing virgin. <laughs> All right. Hi, dancing hey. virgin how right are here. How are you? So nice to meet you. My pleasure. I don't know what they're gonna ask me to do, and I've gotta step it up to kind of meet their standards. Good, Good morning, morning, everybody. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. Don't be nervous. I think it's pretty funny. Chris is actually nervous about this, whether she makes the team or not. You just don't take a team of people and then stick some new person in there. Do it. See if you can you hug me. You such a sense of rhythm, babe. Just oh, you are a geek. Pretty sure I'm Stop embarrassing going. me. Stop it. Come on. Don't do you that. You get into it. You just get into it. it. Here's a little trivia. When I graduated from high school and they had the ideal senior, you know, in the, in the yearbook, I got best dancer. I also got most athletic and best looking, so, but I don't know. That's... That's a whole nother story. Class is over! <laughs> yeah, Are we ready? I'm ready. First thing, okay, so. Ms. Ryan, tell your part. I say, yo, Mo Mix said, you ready? Then I go, oh my. <laughs> you have to do that part with me. I do? Uh huh. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, we're going across the floor. Okay. You have your pants, and you're gonna be moving all the way across. I don't have a lot of dance background and experience in what we're doing here today. Okay, you gotta have your hair go. Yeah. You have to have a little bit of rhythm and a little bit of, you know, movement. You're down. I go down first, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then I go up. All of which I clearly have none of. Yo, Mo Mixa, you ready? Bust it! Six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's so many moves to learn, and all this information into my body is not coming out the way that I had hoped it would. Five, six, seven, eight. Dang it, you guys, this is just my brain is too old. I totally blew it and messed up. It's like, what are they gonna say? I know they're gonna be critical, and it's freaking me out. These curls, they're really good. Yeah, I know they're just, are. It's yeah, like stressing me out. I'm not holding my yes, own. Yes, you are. I bet you quite heavy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just so nervous. What if they don't let me dance? What if they say you're not hired? All right, come on. Yeah. Catch. And don't not catch it. Okay, throw it. He's a wide receiver. How could you tell him to not catch it? Were you scared? Who? I get passes far harder. Please don't let me get ahead of that. Please. I'm like really good. Hold on. I'm gonna do exactly what Reggie does. This is what he does, right? Hold on. Hike. Then he like goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> In this one game, he went like this. He was holding the ball and he went. <laughs> he smacked get him the ahead. Head. Cordy, she's gonna throw to me. You have to go along and go that way. One, two. <laughs> Don't throw how I throw it. Okay, hey, what is ah! that? <laughs> go along, catch her. <laughs> uh, the center does not catch the ball. <laughs> touchdown. I got a touchdown. I'm a bad defensive end. <laughs> you're supposed to stop her. I tried. You're to try. Hey, she can try. After this game, she can try. You see that ball? Go along. Who <laughs> said go? <laughs> <laughs> you're cheating. Tackle her, you're supposed to take it to the ground. What? <laughs> you're too bad. You can't even go dunk it. I don't. Good. Never done this before. I know it's gonna hurt. I'm not nervous. It I is probably will be hurt. nervous when yeah, we're out there. there. Let's go play paintball, guys. Let's go. Let's go.
This is elimination. First team to knock out the other team takes the field, guys. Three, two, play ball! Go, 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 go. Brandon's over here. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Brody got me right in the head, that hurt. Lift my head up, boom, it grazed right off my head. I went, oh, yeah, you got me on that one. Well, I think we should play again. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Right now, I'm trying to build a relationship with my father. Heads up, heads up. Hey. This is the first time in my life I've ever really started to have a relationship with him. Oh, 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 oh. How the hell did he get behind me? And it feels good. Let's go! Yeah. We gotta go again. See, even again. these guns. Guns are good, right? Yes. You know, Chris is like dead center gets me getting a gun for the house. Yeah. Like, I gotta stand up to her on this one. No, I think it's I mean, important. It's... I do believe in home protection. I treat guns with the utmost respect, and I see where Bruce is coming from. You know, he wants to protect the family. For home yeah. protection, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Back me up on this, bro. I will. Hi. Hi. Oh, hey. Well, hey. Oh, hey, Brenda. You guys ready to go? Let's do it. Great. Paddleboard. Paddleboard. <clears throat> it's not just another day. Another day to excel. It's another day to excel. When was the last time you had paddleboarding? I was Brandon. When was that? A year ago. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't kind of remind you of Lake Tahoe. This. Oh, it reminds me so much of Tahoe. Doesn't it? Yeah. I was telling Brandon. I go, yeah. Brandon, what does this remind you yeah. of? Yeah. Like, I mean, Lake know? Tahoe was so clean. This is kind of cool down here. Not bad, huh? Hey! Hey! I'm just getting on the sucker. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, jump on and get on your knees first. Or... It's really shallow. I'd say get on your knees. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! You got it? Now we're cooking! Your old paddleboard head, you got that. Yeah. Where are we going? What are we doing? I don't know. Let's just go off the coast, maybe to the point. Go around the point. Whoa! He did go in. I'm going sideways. Come on, you little bastard. Perfect. Never got wet. All right. Oh, my soft and tender little feet. Too much commitment for me. I have to do one class and it'll be done. I can just not pretend I knew all this stuff. It doesn't look that hard. 100%. I thought karate would be a good activity, but now that I'm at this dojo, everybody's taking it a little bit more serious than I thought, and it's kind of weirding me out a bit. So I figure I'll just let Courtney think I'm hitting the dojo here or there. I mean, it's not like she's gonna ask to fight me to see my moves. Ew, you got to sweat on this chair. That one's like a little too big. I don't think you'd want to go that size. Which one? This one or this one? Let me see them both. This one feels heavier, but the shape might be better. The one on the left looks like bigger. That's all you've ever wanted is cleavage. Look at that. That's amazing. That's like huge. That's amazing, right? You would never go that big, would you? Talking to me? I don't think they'd look that. I totally look like an Instagram whore. Whore? Boring. It really is a tougher way to live. Oh my god, I'm finally you. Oh my god. I mean, Chloe looks beautiful no matter what. I love small boobs, but like I've always had big boobs. I think Chloe doesn't get how hard it is to work out when you really have like big boobs like bouncing around everywhere. So I wanted to work out with Chloe so that she can really test out her bigger boobs. How's everybody body feeling? Fabulous. Really tired. All right, what are we doing today? Let's start here on the ball for the warm up. Let's just get some blood flow right now. Two up, knee up, drop, good. Two up, three up. Look at how big my boobs look from the side. Do a little jump up this time. Up, two, up, good. 
I've always wanted like cleavage in a sports bra. Like I love those girls at the gym that just got big old boobs and I never really have that. So I'm digging this whole cleavage in a sports bra thing. Nine, oh God, you're way eight, heavier than usual. Seven, Shut up. Six, the boobs. Five. I do feel like the boobs pass the test. So I don't feel like it hurts to go get a consultation, see what my options are, and just to see like how serious I am about this whole boob job thing. I mean, we're in LA. I feel like people get their boobs done like they fill up a car with gas. Wanna grab that clock? Yeah. What is this? We can hold it together. All right, let's do it. Okay, Scott, we're gonna try to do this for the first time. All right, gotta stretch it out a bit. All right, let's all stretch right, it out. All right. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, Lord, let's see how good we are at this game. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, f why are you trying to hit me? Even in my loafers, I'm still getting this done. Hoo ya! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at upper serving. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed Watch. to get it over. It's not baseball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good game. Good game. Game off. Good game. Where are orange slices? You know, like when you played soccer and your parents gave you a like slices? Japanese restaurant. I want to get those. I feel like we really need to get prepared as team captain. I think we should all just do a little bit of practice. I have a trainer coming. Wait, wait, I don't wait, know. wait, wait, what do you mean? I have a trainer coming? No, I mean, I usually know that. Is she like a he's rowing like a trainer? trainer? No, no, no. Or but is he a fitness he's trainer? He's a fitness trainer. But you can't get in shape. It takes three years. I know, but I'm just saying we could at least you don't all, get a all overnight. you know worry about getting in sync together and just like learn a couple tips just so that we comes can... with practice. So we're gonna practice. I don't right. know so we how much time you think I have, but I'm a breastfeeding mother of two. Okay. Okay. Well, he's here, so we have I no choice. Go. But we are gonna practice. That's what I'm saying. Enough, and we're gonna train for this. And here is Harley Pasternak, who is gonna train us. Hello. A trainer. Hi. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? Hi, I'm Harley. Hey, now, have you ever heard. rowed a boat? Hi, I have. I grew up in Canada, so we canoed a lot. <laughs> so you know anything about it, these, whatever they call dragon boats? I mean, just... I've seen them before. Right, They're yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, but I know that we have to keep in rhythm. We have to keep to a beat. Yeah, right. Now, we could immediately adopt you, and you could be on the boat with us. could help out a little bit. We did. We he's already he's already in. I'm the ringer, yes. I think. Yeah. Okay. Good. All yeah. right. We need I'm, all I'm... the muscles we can. We yeah, can get. we do. So uh, I thought maybe we could do some like <laughs> team building stuff. <clears throat> Who wants to start? Two of you. Me. Okay. So why don't you? Why don't the two of you start? Okay. What Woo! we're gonna do is okay. one of you fall back into the other's okay. arms, and you're gonna have your eyes closed, and you're gonna have to completely trust that the other person's gonna catch you. Oh, I hate this trust game. We're playing it at camp. But... <laughs> so you're, you're gonna stand time. right in the middle of the room. Are those Arthur Right George? about here. Yeah. Don't are, do are that. Are you ready? Oh, oh wait, wait, you're ready. You gotta say when it's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, you have to but say But you have to close your eyes. <laughs> See, perfect. <laughs> now it'll be the other way. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Kylie, See, you better close, catch me. Close your eyes. You See? don't have perfect. trust. She didn't I, she do it. Yeah, we did. all trust yeah, did. you. Yeah, I totally did. So the Come two on, of Dad, you. Come oh, on, I trust them. <laughs> <laughs> I will catch you. I promise. Okay. Okay. Let her fall back. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if you should trust her. I'm so yeah. <laughs>
starts getting closer and closer to this alligator. My adrenaline's definitely pumping. Come on, we can get on this one. Nice. Wayne is a professional alligator hunter, but I gotta tell you, it's a little nerve wracking. Holy it's wild. I've never seen this before. Keep light on it, Tommy. Yeah. Keep light on it. Yeah. Got the gun ready? Playboy already? Oh. <laughs> Impressive. Do you want me to sign up for you? Okay. What is it? E R A N D T. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Bye. <laughs> Keep buying those Playboys. <laughs> what did he say? We got our autograph. Little perms. That's like not normal. Good to see you. Me too. How's it going? Been busy today. I'm thinking that you need more lingerie in your life. This could be my new robe. So when Scott's looking at his porno, you can just come in and you're like little brown panty in there. <laughs> Whoa! Shake it! But I feel like I was thinking, because I now I can't stop thinking, like, is that what he wants? Like, is that his, you know, fantasy? Like the new threesome situation? Yeah. Like, why was that, like, suddenly on his thing? Would you be into that? Or, I mean, no. I think it's a little, like, I think it, like, ruins relationships. I think you should just tell Scott that you are totally into it or whatever. But just like, to test like him are. and see if he even wants to? Yes, just pretend yeah. like you want to do it. <sighs> just try it. He would probably be so scared and such a baby. Yeah. And then it could be a done deal. How weird is that? I feel like, I mean, it's kind of normal. It's like normal. It's just so embarrassing to like catch someone. <laughs> it kind of is a sign that Courtney should be paying a little bit more attention to Scott. He clearly isn't getting any from her. So I think that, you know, he has to do what he has to do. You really need to like make an effort. Or if not, just expect to see a whole lot of lesbo porn. Yeah. I mean, I found like this kind of porn on his thing before. Like maybe he's into it. Like he wants you to like hook up with a girl. I don't know. You need to like spend more time with him. I'm trying. Maybe things have cooled down a little bit with Scott and I, you know, we're parents now and we have a lot going on. And maybe I could do something to heat it up. Why don't you go buy a porn, a lesbian porn, and then have it on in here and have and some say, sexy look time. what I'm watching. No, just be like, hi. Kim, I'm not taking advice like this from you. so cool, but doesn't this freak you out, like on the edge? This is really creeping me out. Like, I'm, stop, I seriously, I'm so afraid of heights, like this is not funny. Is it weird to think that if I wanted to, I could throw you over the edge? Don't say that, because I get really, I'm already getting like chills down my spine. Stop, it's not that serious. Right. Wait, so, um, right now, I've done another breath control for the month, and I kind of think it's time to get off of it. I want to talk to you about it and see what you think. At this point in my life, I mean, I'm 30 years old. I feel like your life really starts when you start having kids and, you know, it's like a whole new chapter. And I think that that's something that I'm really ready for. Asking me about birth control, this is a weird conversation. I didn't think I'd have it so soon. We're married, like, don't you think it's, I mean, I don't know, are you ready to have a baby? What's going on, Lord? You know, just being royal, but a little depressed in some ways. Why? Royalty should be the shiznit. Yeah, 
the only place that really doesn't treat me like royalty is obviously, you know, who, but the end. Why not? I don't know. I just feel like she should slob. Like, she should want to like slob on the royal jewels. I mean, look, I told her you could come and swing on the lump of ding a wing anytime she wants, and she's like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, how did you and Lamar keep it so like hot and spicy, like at all times? Uh, what? Like, what do you I mean? I don't know. I just feel like even though you and Lamar have been together like what is three years. Three years. I feel like even in ten years, you guys are still going to be, like, crawling all over each other. And, like, for Courtney and I, I feel like we're just, like, such an old couple already. You have no part in doing anything exciting, you know what I mean, for the moment, like, sex in the closet. I don't know. Oh, my God. It excites me that you guys are so excited to be together. The fact that you have, like, an obsession with Lemire and I, it's so awko. It's not an Ocotaco when you think about it. Remember the last time I asked Lamar's advice, he told me Dude, was he like, was, oh. he's kidding. Uh, what? I cannot, you know uh, what? I'm done. I'm retiring talking to you. I can't do this anymore. Oh, I want to hear more. No, I got to go. Bye. Thank you, Armando. Oh, look at the marketplace. Oh, how cute. Probably the freshest fruit. <laughs> true? Yeah? It's true? Probably. <laughs> you like the penis? You like penis? Do I like Peanut. penis? Peanuts. Peanuts. <laughs> you like? Yes, I like peanuts. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Aww. Thank you. That was like Lily, don't you dare. Oh, yeah, I swear, I heard it twice. Yo. Yeah. What's up? Who's this hitting your phone over and over? I don't know. What does the name say? And your password. And why are you even in my phone? And your password's not the same as it was. Uh, because maybe last time you went through my phone, and why you keep picking up my phone? Like, you don't trust me, and that's, it's like, It's not really about whack. that. It's just that I just don't get why you even care if I go why through your phone. Why do you care you going should... through my phone? There's nothing in I there. I mean, don't you because think I'm that's shady? Because I might be talking to my mom or something about some I don't want you to you think be... I'm gonna go read your convos with your mom or something? So what are you trying to read? Well, who do you think I'm texting? What do you think I'm doing? I don't even understand why Rob would even think that I'm doing anything wrong. I'm four months pregnant. I have two businesses that I'm running. I'm with King. And I literally don't leave the house. So what could I possibly be doing? Did I know? Hey. Even though my brother didn't take the news about Shalom very well, I hope that when my brother hangs out with Shalom, he'll see what a great guy he is and what a great time he'll have with him. Oh, my. She be good with Hi. 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 Hey, how's it going? How are you? Pretty good. How nice long? to meet you, Shalom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you hold him? Yeah. How was your flight? It was pretty cool. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. So how long have you guys known each other? Are you guys serious or? Well, yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. What do you mean looks like it? Well, I wouldn't waste my time and I wouldn't waste her time. I'm just thinking what to say. This is still a shock for me. You know, you know that I've never, never seen my sister with a boyfriend, you know, first of all, you know what I mean? You know, if this was a couple of years back, you know, I'd just beat the out of me. I'm being straight up, you know, calm down, you know. I'm more mature, but I don't care. I just want to grab you and just, I'll throw anything at you, you know what I mean? So, you know how it is. You know, that's just every guy. It's not the religion. Just you being serious with my sister, what is serious to you? No, serious is that I'm serious with her and I'm, and I'm obviously gonna be good to her. Yeah. And I'm gonna respect her and I'm gonna make sure she's okay. I'm pretty sure your mother is a very amazing woman, and she's oh, yeah, very, you know, because otherwise she wouldn't be like who she is today. Exactly. And I wouldn't be with her. Yeah. Well, what do you think my parents are gonna think? Yeah. What do you think your parents are gonna think? Yeah. I told you they'd probably freak out at first. At first, or you know, forever. What, what do you think? I mean, it's my happiness. I feel like if I'm happy, then you guys should be happy. They're gonna disown you. You know what the consequences are, right? Them not talking to you, just you're. Asked out. Like, what's the real reason you didn't come? Not like, 
the reason you gonna tell me, but like the real reason you didn't come today. Is it because of the argument or? It's a combination of everything. I still really want you to see me and oh. give you more more reason to not be attracted to me or whatever. So, so I just, I just don't wanna go. Even though I'm pissed at Rob for ghosting on me, when Rob says like really bad stuff about himself, it kind of like throws me off a lot because I don't see it. And I get it, everybody's like down on themselves and have their opinions. But like some of the stuff that he like thinks and says is like really sad. I think we should get together and talk. Yeah, I think so too. I gotta check on this Malibu house and I gotta see if Mickey is really just hanging around the house. Oh, weird, there's mail here. Who else is he putting here? I mean, I think he comes here to go surfing, but I don't think he's. That's about it. Oh, the fridge is up. <laughs> it's a stocked fridge. It's what they've been living in, isn't it? It's a dog bowl. This sick is in the hot tub. What the? You just dropped your phone in there? You scared the out of me now. You scared me. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I surfed for a couple hours and I came to chill here. I mean, I'm sure that like Cosette's got showings. Who's gonna buy the house if you're living here? Like, you're living quite good. Yeah, you know, I work hard. This is working. It's the middle of the week. Why are you, are you trying to give me a hard time? I'm not out? giving you a hard time. I'm just kind of thinking I maybe you'd be overseeing Jed Smith right now in the middle of the week at three o'clock. I have the boss, I have guys working. Okay. By the way, I really think you should keep the basketball court. I do not want to keep that basketball court. Scott, I'll try to save you money. I feel like Mickey is trying to delay demoing the basketball court, maybe in hopes that me and Benny are going to change our mind. But he's definitely mistaken. I want that basketball court out. No, it could be a playground for kids. You are bugging, boo. It's half the yard. Give it some thought, okay? Please. You're too relaxed over here. You're forgetting about business. Next time I go, I do not want to see it there. All right, I'm coming out. Oh, we should check the barbecue, Noah, to see if he's been using it. Don't. Don't check the barbecue, please. You've been barbecuing? <laughs> no. Wow. There's so much history in this town. Like, every place here is, like, unique. Yeah. L.A., everything, like, looks the same, and it's like a mold. So we're driving around in New Orleans, and it's just really different for us and really interesting to see things that we've never seen before. Is that true that the X is on the doors and the number is how many people that died? Mm-hmm. It's like how many people died or like if anybody was found. The houses are just crumbled into pieces. It's literally just blocks and blocks and blocks of just trash. Oh, look at nightmare. that house, you guys. Oh, my God. I want to go inside one. So we get to the ninth ward and it looks like it looks like it did the day Katrina hit. It took over two weeks for someone to get here. Well, you know. And they had no electricity. It's a complete ghost town. Not a soul lives there. All of the homes, if they haven't been completely destroyed, look like old haunted houses. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. Look at the ceiling, how it fully just flew down. This is similar to what ours looked like. It's just really hard to believe that this is someone's home and these are someone's personal belongings that are just blown all over the floor. I was told our house, we only had a few shingles missing, but um, when we first got out of the cars and got to the house, unlocked the door, the door wouldn't open. Well, when we finally forced the door open, the ceiling had caved in. Is your roof fixed? My roof is fixed. Okay. And before the roof was fixed, every time it rained, it rained in my house. Oh my God. I would say about 80 to 90% of everything we had, oh we lost. God. And oh furnishings, wow. clothing, pictures, everything. Wow. wow. Everything. It took three 40 cubic yard dumpsters to pretty wow. much haul 20 years of us away. They lost everything. Now they are living in a FEMA trailer, which is on the other side of their home. So your trailer like just is just right out front? Mm -hmm. It's almost like torture. You see your home, but you can't go in it because there's nothing there. Protect yourself from the mud. Watch out. 
The whole trailer is as big as probably my bedroom. Okay, look around. Right. Yeah. So how long have you guys lived in here? Oh. Next month, mm -hmm. it'll be two years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Without being in a house. Two years. It's so odd that people aren't trying to, like, help. To help. The whole day that we've been with this family, they have not once complained, not once done a woe is me or we want help. Wow, come here for one sec. Rob, we really, really want to do something for them. She's like, you know, a know single mom with these there, three like, kids. You should help them get furniture. You should help them get a lot of stuff. I'll put in money. Yeah, I'll put in, I mean, we'll all put in money, but I'm I sure think you guys should get call stuff. Maybe Reggie as a contact from the charity. Yeah, I'll definitely make some calls. So I call Reggie and I see if he has any connections through his charity. Hi, this is Kim Kardashian. I got your number from Reggie Bush. I'm working with a family out here in New Orleans, and I wanted to see, you know, he's told me that you guys have worked with his foundation before, and I just wanted to know if there's anything that you can do to help us out. This is so cute. Hey, Justine. How are you? Thank you for doing this. Oh my gosh, thanks for having me. It's like the... So cool. Today, I have an amazing party plan to support the Alexandria House, a long-term shelter for women and single moms. We are partnering with companies like Priv and Cost Plus World Market to provide some great products and services. And I just want to bring awareness to this issue because I feel like there's a lot that can be done in our community, and it starts with just getting the information. Caroline. How are you? Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, of Come course, of course. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so glad that you're here. Oh. Can I get everyone's attention just for a moment, please? Um, we just want to thank you, Kim, for bringing your amazing crew to here for Alexandria House. Alexandria House has been here for 21 years. As you know, LA is the homeless capital of the United States. The rising population is women and children. Alexander House, we're just a drop in the bucket of what the good that we can do to eliminate homelessness. We really appreciate you being here and casting some attention on this incredible issue that's impacting so many. And what we'd like to offer to you is a gift of stories. We'd like to start with Madison. Most people don't understand, you know, the homeless. They think that, oh, you have to be a bad kid, you have to have run away, you're doing drugs. I was an athlete. Um, and for whatever reason, my mom, she just couldn't deal. She was on drugs, and she kicked me out the house at 17, and I found myself homeless. And I met so many, in my journey at 17 in the shelter, I met so many kids who were like me. So I just kind of wanted to highlight that part of my story because most people here at Alexandria House, they know about the domestic violence that I did. They know that when I came here at 20 years old with a one-year-old, you know, they, they know about that part of my story. They don't know what I went through before. So I just wanted to... Thank you so much for sharing your story. It just makes me think about, you know, like, what's their family going through? With my dad, I remember the first time going back to the hospital. Yeah. He had a whole life. Yeah. These people were healthy, and there's so much future and potential. With my dad, it's, it's like every day it becomes more and more real. You realize how short life is, and it's definitely changed my perspective on living in the time that we have and that we can't take things for granted. I think about him more and more every day, but I just wish that he he was there to, you know, give me advice through life. But I truly believe that all the advice that you need and all the answers you already know within yourself. Yeah. It was really hard to see Jordan go through something like that because one, I'm just generally so close to her, so when she cries, I cry. And it's crazy that, you know, it's gonna happen to me one day. Hey, Hi. Hello, welcome hey. to Peru. How are you? How are you doing? Welcome. So before we go into the OR yeah. and really see what Kylie Cosmetics have done. Okay. My hands are so shaky. <laughs> I know. Hey, everybody. Look how good it looks. 
it's amazing to know that the money that I'm donating is actually doing something and changing lives. So that's what we'll see today. It looks today, so good. <laughs> this is very overwhelming. I know. Sorry. But it is heartbreaking to know that there are so many people who just don't have the resources. Okay, we're going to meet Mia. How old is Mia? Three months. Three months old. Oh, Mia. My little cutie. Hey. Hi, how are you? <laughs> you okay? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Kylie alone has helped over 1,300. That's crazy. Yeah. 34 children. Okay. 34? Southern yeah. yesterday. Wow. Oh, hi. hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. So why are you here today? Well, I feel like I'm this beautiful person, but people don't see me for the way that I really am because of my exterior. Just because of your height? Yeah, I've been tall since I was little. And I used to be self-conscious and felt horrible. I got teased, mm -hmm. daddy long legs and all this stuff. Dikembe, Mutombo, when I walked down the hall. All kinds of stuff. Listen, that's something that none of us could change anyway. Right. So I think mm -hmm. you could be tall and beautiful and still really feminine. But mentally, I never dealt with that. And I realized that I really have allowed the negativity of other people to change my mindset. People that I thought were really friends that just abused my kindness and mm -hmm. just mistreated me and didn't appreciate who I was. Right. And all I just wanted was love. Right. I right. went through postpartum depression. I would eat mm -hmm. my sorrows away late at night just eating like crazy. My daughter would just cry, cry, and cry. Like, she felt my pain. How old is your daughter? She, well, that was a while ago. She's right. 15 now, about mm -hmm. to be 16. Yeah. I have a son, too. They are such wonderful kids. Like, Aww. I wouldn't be able to breathe without them. Right. So who do you want to get revenge on? Well, the main person would be Shorty Duop is what I like to call him. Shorty Duop? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Well, his Who name is, is Kenya. Okay. And I met him a few years back. Okay. Then we went on some dates and then we became, you know, cutty buddies okay. and stuff like that. <laughs> but it's like years that went by and I, I really found out that I from the beginning I really liked him. He's really intelligent and he has this nice body and I know it's my weight. That is holding him back from really getting to know me deeper. So once I get this thing together, yeah. <laughs> plaque out. Yeah. <laughs> I just want him to be like, oh, oh my gosh. Jaw on the floor. Yes. I have no idea where I am right now. I have no idea what's happening. Hi, Eddie. My nerves are at an all-time high. Chloe has a surprise for you. OK. So I'm going to take you inside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crazy. I cannot believe that I'm here. I'm shaken. <laughs> to actually stand there with your two feet and experience that space is the most surreal, amazing feeling that I think I've ever felt. <laughs> like touching this, making sure I'm not in a dream right now. Like, this is the real deal. So I want you to stand right there. Chloe has a message for you. <laughs> I really cannot believe I'm here. Hi, Eddie. I heard that you gained about 20 pounds, and I wanted to say congratulations, because I could only imagine how hard that is to gain that much weight in such a short amount of time. So you are doing incredible, and I know your birthday's coming up, and I got in touch with Jason Kennedy, and he is going to meet with you. No, <laughs> like this isn't happening right now. And give you some tips and tricks. He is honestly the nicest person in the world, so have fun, and have a great birthday. And if your ex, Eric, tries to call you on your birthday, please ignore. So let this be all about you and have so much fun. I can't believe this is real. I just don't, I don't know what to say. Just being in this studio, it's just like one of my, my biggest dreams ever. And so for Chloe to give me this for my birthday, it's like, I don't know how to feel, you know? Because this is like, this is like everything that I've ever wanted or seen for myself, just in like one place. I don't, I just, I have no words. Like, this is insane. Eddie, what's going on, buddy? Oh my gosh. 
How you doing, man? So, it's such an honor to meet you. Nice to meet so, you. Give me a this hug, is man. So crazy. You doing good? Why are you doing good? I'm shaking. Okay. Come on. I'm like shaking. Like, this is insane. I'm just like, a I'm normal dude. Like, the Jason Kennedy. Like, this is, I watch you all the time. So, yeah? it's so real to, like, see you in person and be here. Like, it's a pretty special place, right? Thank you. Here, stand over here. So, you could, you could play Juliana. You got the copy up there. Run through it as if we're just kind of talking and you're on. Tonight we're hanging with the coaches of The Voice right before their big live show. This is E! News. That's right, Eddie. Here we go. That, that's pretty dang I good. Feel just just that, for the first <laughs> run, that's, I'm impressed. Like, when I was a kid, I used to say it in my mirror, like, this is Eddie Estrada and this is E! News. Like, that was something I would repeat to myself. And I was like, if I say it enough time, it's going to happen. And I, it's happening. Tonight we're hanging with the coaches of The Voice right before their big live show. This is E! News. That's right, Eddie. Here we go. This is crazy. I just felt that burst of passion and that energy, like reading off the prompter, looking at the cameras. I feel like I'm more ready to be this person and follow my dream and pursue this destiny that I know I have in front of me. Thank you so much. Man, I'm glad I could be a part of it with you. Now it's like, no big deal. Like, I can do this. Like, I've got this. I could go be that E! News host tomorrow. You'll see me on E! News again. Don't think this is the end, trust me. Say goodbye to your set. This is your new set, Bye. Eddie. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Your house is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. So I just want to talk to you about Tara. So it finally came out just a few days ago when I was talking to her. She's really worried about Chad and okay. how she's going to be perceived from being on this show and if it could affect her custody battle. She's worried that she'll be perceived as she's not doing well out here and can't make it and that he'll force her to go back home. That it's so sad. She? It just has so much self-hate. And I'm concerned that this situation with Chad, I don't know emotionally if she is going to be ready to reveal to him, and I feel like it could really set her back. Well, yeah, normally what happens with these contestants, if you will, they say at the beginning, I want to reveal on Chad. And then during the process, they're like, Chad, she's obviously nowhere near that. Mm -mm. I just want her to get better self-confidence, even just to project that for her daughter. Exactly. You know? Well, we're gonna get her together. Yes, <laughs> we are. We're gonna. We have to drag we're her. Gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna drag her and get her together. But we're gonna get there. Yeah. Get there. <laughs> I love it.